Hi there! Welcome back to yet another bag unboxing. Um, so today I have a pretty special unboxing because this is a bag I purchased for Mother's Day, my first Mother's Day. I've been eyeing this bag for quite a while. It's a coach bag as you can see and it was sold out for quite a while, um, months honestly, and I wanted this color specifically and I waited and waited and it actually came back only in this color um, and so you'll see here the coach dust bag and the box actually came a little beat up and the dust bag was peeking out of the box which I showed earlier which was a little disappointing but that's okay the bag was perfectly fine and as you can see here brass hardware it's ivory glove tan leather the coach ergo bag and this is a super classic style I love the um, heritage styles of coach. I used to be a huge vintage coach collector. I would find them, thrift them all the time, refurbish them. Um, I've since let go of the majority of my coach collection, pretty much everything I thrifted, which is really sad, except for a couple of belts. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I just got tired of the bags and I would rotate out. I've gifted many vintage coach bags over the years and I just love them. And I love that coach is now bringing back some of the heritage styles. Um, so back to the coach ergo, this one, as I mentioned, is in the ivory and I really wanted a white ish colored bag for the spring and summer. And this one caught my eye. I love the brass hardware with the ivory, um, on the website, honestly, I wasn't too too much of a fan of the color and I'd seen many videos um, with other people showing the bag and so I was hoping the bag was a little bit whiter than what it showed on the coach website. This is more of a vanilla color in person and unfortunately I didn't love it when I saw it in person. As you can see like it's in really great shape like it came really well protected um, which is super important to me that my bag when you spend a few hundred dollars on a bag you want it to come looking beautiful even though the box was a little beat up the leather looked good um, and everything was protected and really well stuffed and that kind of thing um, just showing some of the hardware here so the zip on this is beautiful super smooth I've had issues in the past like with the Polen bag where it has this curved zipper and it really wasn't um, smooth or easy to get open and that's a huge issue for me even though this is a little bit narrow of an opening, the leather is supple enough that you can get your hand in and out. The zipper didn't seem very scratchy at all, and it's really smooth to actually open it up. So that was encouraging. Um, yeah, I'm just pulling out all the stuffing now because I really wanted to see the inside of the bag. And there was a lot of stuffing, <laughs> as you can see. I was like, okay, when is this going to end? It's like a never-ending bag of uh, paper. But um yeah, once you get in there, they had some cardboard inserts to kind of help the bag keep its shape, which is nice. And a little bit of more of that foam, which I, I don't love this material. It's not biodegradable. It's like, I don't know, it's not, it was kind of silly to have it inside the bag, I thought. But anyway, so here are some close-ups and um, a little bit better lighting so you can see the color. As I mentioned, it's like not really an ivory in my opinion. There's a little more beige in it. Um, kind of like a latte color or vanilla I I don't know really how to describe it, but I think that the color on screen is very true to the actual color of the bag. Um, I would have loved for it to be just a little whiter. Um, and I still like the warm tone, but yeah, it just wasn't, I couldn't really pair this with a lot of the things that I wear. I think it's too distinctive a beige. Um, and I have a few mod shots. Honestly, this bag is a little bit smaller than I thought. When you look at the dimensions on the website and look at the pictures, you think that it's just a little bit bigger. It's very narrow, but you can actually still fit a lot in there. I would say this is a not really a medium-sized bag. I would consider this small, and I thought it would be medium-sized. Um, I recently got the Coach Duffel 16, I think, and that one is a medium to large size bag. You can fit so, so much more in it. Um, so maybe I will do, yeah, uh, what fits inside that one at some point. But this one, I didn't even do a what's in my bag with it. All right. I hope this is helpful.